this is Victor. I'm here with a new painting tutorial, and this time I'm going to paint this uh, Death Maiden from the Escher. Okay, so this is one, the other one that comes with the kit that I already painted. Okay, and the objective is to achieve the same level of uh, paint job. Okay, so I'm going to do the other one, have the alternative. Um, um, head okay but as well it's going to be an interesting paint job and I will start from the bottom to the top uh, doing first the legs and I will apply first siege purple on the uh, trousers okay so we are going to, to shake it and I'm going to apply this on the trousers okay so we are going to do that. This contrast paint is quite dark, and you will see that it will give quite an interesting purple. Where we are going to then work the highlights and so on. Okay. So I'm doing that, and I'm back for the next step. Okay, see purple is applied on where we have the trousers. Okay, and now I'm going to apply Rakar Flesh on the skin on this case because we want a death looking skin. Okay. Or a sick looking skin. So we are going to apply this on all the skin okay again I thin it quite a lot the intention is to apply a thin layer on all the where the skin is visible, not the places where the skin is visible. Okay, so I will do that, and I'm back for the next step. Okay, next step, I'm going to use black Templar on all the parts where I want black or metallic mainly. So this means I will start, for example, on the head. I don't want it in a lot of places, and on the neck blades I will not do it. So I will start on the torso, and I will do all the parts where the armor, where we have black part or. Parts. Then I will do the black carapace in yellow, as well as the breastplates. In that case, I will do the abdominal plates, the middle part as well in yellow. So I'm going to go slowly, applying it on all the places where I want this the black to be present. I will leave the. Still hesitating what to do with the hood. If I will do it in purple or black okay. here I don't want to turn the skin so it will change to more brush when I go there
as you can see, I'm not applying too much of it. I don't go for thick layer. I try to go for more a control layer. Let me change to my smaller brush and for a moment. You can see you have to be careful and steady. Be sure that you don't miss any part. Yeah. Okay, I apply there. And I'm going to put it here at the frame of this. Something <laughs> like that. I do that. Okay, now we can do the legs. And I will do as well on these things. I will do this part in black as well. Okay, I will do the bells maybe in brown, so I will not do the bells now. And as well, maybe we come back to, to put more black later on. So this is just the first time. Okay, I will do the boots. The boots is easier. Okay, for the boots, I can use a slightly bigger brush. And I will do all over the boots, okay? Like that, you can see the woods, you can go quite fast. Try not to do the other parts. Okay, so I will do the two woods and I will check all the details and I'm back for the next step. We have applied now the black. I will keep working on trying to place all the colors. Now I'm going to use the messy desert to do this piece of cloth that is. Um, that she has there. Okay, I will put some here on my wood. Found it. And we are going to paint this part. Again, we want to do with the thin layer to not block any of the details. And here we need to be careful because we have to go the this part that is a little bit more difficult to access. Okay, so we will apply the messy desert and I'm back. Okay, next I'm going to use another contrast, this time it's going to be uh, wildwood contrast and I'm going to apply this on the bell on this tube, and there is also like a belt here okay, so in this one and as well 
in the belt here. To be a little bit careful that does not, as you can see, contrast paint. I like to buy them almost like a base coats. Okay, always be careful, uh, and then, for example, I can take advantage now that I have this. And I will do these strings here. Okay. That will be enough at this stage. Now I'm going to apply a wash on the skin. I want to see how the skin will look like. And I will apply a change brush. Um, I was thinking if I apply Agus Air Shade or I'm thinking if I want to apply a wash. No, I wouldn't apply a wash on the skin, sorry. I changed my mind. But sometimes I'm just thinking lowly what I want to do. So, yeah. The only place where I will apply the wash, I have to be very careful, it will be on the lips. Because I want the shading, the shade on the mouth. Okay, I will wait because I, I want to highlight, so I will wait for that. And now I think I will do the yellow part. So I will apply Avalon Sunset on all the parts where I want yellow. This will be here, this is the rest plate. And as well on this part there. Yeah. There is not much to say here. Avalanche Sunset will give a very nice uh, base coat for yellow. And then after that we are going to work on the highlights. Okay, be aware that Avalanche Sunset is a little bit awkward. It's a little bit saturated yellow. Uh, but it's very is the best color to have a good base and from there to start working with mean the best yellow I was meaning. Okay. So I will do that. You can see it's also quite thin. So I want to avoid to have brush brush marks or something like that. Okay. So we're going to play this one on the back Carapace here. Okay, and as well as I said, on these things at the side of the trousers. So I'm going to do that. And I will be back for the next step. Okay. Next, I'm going to use flake one flesh to do the this school there okay and we are going to do the school here and the horns so again try to be quite accurate Yeah, they make a mistake. Just 
mistake, so I will write it. Which I must hide in that case. And I will do some random feathers as well with this color. Okay. Like that. I'm going to do another horns. She has like deer horns. Very shamanic this way of going. Okay, and for example, I will do some random feathers as well. just to give a different shade to some feathers okay this thing is this cool I will do the front of the school as well. Okay, so I will do that and I'm back for the next step. Okay, next step I'm going to use apothecary white and we are going to use this on the bandage she has in the face. And we can do some of the feathers with that. So I'm going to do, for example, let's do this feather there. Now we need to know which one is, so I'm going to touch like that. Is this one? That is one of the tricky bars. When you do these feathers, it's not to mess up and confuse which one you have done at the front. So we are going to have feathers of different colors. I will do a couple of white, not too many in white, because I mainly want to go on, on darker colors. Off. Now we will take uh, for example Agar's Dunes and we are going to do other feathers with Agar's Dunes. Flesh, we can do this one here, for example. This one, the other 
nothing will have anything in the back. Let's go with the hair. We can go on one of the yellow ones. You can see that the tonality is a little bit different when we don't have the flick on flesh. And I will do the small one that is there. Some here, yes. This one. Good. Let's change color. I'm going to use now the grip charger now. color it's quite an interesting one especially around the horns here I think I have two maybe even if it's two together I will do them two. Okay, and we can do some on the hair. See here, I touch the one that had the flake on flesh. The other one is hair, I think. Okay. Let's do some more.
orange color. I will do some black feathers using. Uh, I will use instead of black, I will use basilicum gray. It's almost not visible from the other side. And I will do with this color the hair. You can see that the help is nicely schooled. Um, you don't need too much help to pop up all the details. Just a contest pain. The work is almost done. I supply this on the hair and I'm back. Okay, next step I'm going to use uh, Gorgunta fur on the remaining feathers. Okay, and with that I want to give uh, all the I want to finalize the work on the feathers, making some of them darker. Here, this one, one other small there. Well, this is really up to everyone how you want to, if you want to do more color variation or not, or how many colors you want to add. I wanted to go for um, brown colors, I did not want for exotic colors like greens or purples or pinks. In that case I think was matching better for me for the look I was looking on this, yeah, the, the look I wanted to give to this lady. I was looking more for brown, white. I can add some, we can add some black if you want. Okay, but well, these are the colors I was looking for. Okay, so this is how the feathers will look like. Here I miss some, so I will go back and then touch some of them. And then the other thing I will do, I will take some of these straps and I will paint them as well with this brown okay to make it like leather straps okay I will I, I will not think these are metallic because it will be too heavy I guess is what I imagine 
So I will do this and this one here. It's quite tricky to reach. Okay. And I'm missing one feather there. These meters have a good amount of the tail, eh? These miniatures, this late um, death maiden, are quite the tail. Okay, and then at the end for the hood, I will clean up a little bit the school because we have some of the And then I will go, I will use again Siege Purple to do the school, the, the hood. Okay, the same as we use for the trousers. Thing will work. Okay, so I will do this, as you can see. Um, I try to do, as I said, I like to apply the contours with some control. And apply it in the parts where I need it. Okay, for I just do it. So I will apply now the siege here. So I want to avoid to leave anything in white, okay? Okay. You can see when you apply the, the contours in this way, they dry quite fast. Good. I will do one thing now to clean up, to make the, the 
feathers sharper I will take no noon oil and very carefully I will wash over the feathers on the helmet on the helmet on the head we need to avoid the horns but the rest can be washed and will help to improve the definition of the feathers Yes, we have so many colors, it's important to have It's not it's looking too much It's looking too messy So this new oil will help us You can see, to improve The resolution of the feathers And to Even though can darken a little bit some of them it will help us ok, I'm going to clean up a little bit the horns but uh, I think it's needed to do that Think. Okay. let's see we don't need to do the same on the on most of the I will just do the same here in these ones. So the ones that they look less sharper, but I think the other ones look quite good. Okay. Let's let the hair and the feathers dry a little bit. So while this is drying, I'm going to use Balthazar Gold and I'm going to paint this type of thing that all the Azure have okay, I think, I think they're, they're respirators or something like that I'm using Balthazar Gold but although it's called gold, gold it's more a copper color So I will apply again a thin layer of this on these things, on this device and I'm back for the next step Next step I'm going to use a metallic, in that case I will use this paint from Miltro Painted, a silver and I'm going to do all the metallic parts that I want to in metal. I will try not to use my best brush and so we are, I will start I will start from a point I will do for example these spikes on the boots I will do this type of things that are used to armor plates, some of the armor plates the weapon and all the parts that I want to be metallic, ok? so I will do that and I'm back for the next step next step I'm going to use the snipe bike leather and with this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the fur that we have here on the arm. Okay, this fur here. Like that.
we are going to do the, this part here and I'm going to do as well the we have applied here the silver and now applying this on top will make this thing to look gold. We have to avoid to put, not to put too much. So I'll try to use Okay, and then if you want to do other gold parts like these bracelets. Okay, you can see that the applying this snack by leather on top of silver, it gives you a nice gold. This will be enough. I will not to check that I'm not missing any part. I will do now the front four and I'm back. Okay, I have applied now the snag by leather and now I will apply Wilwood cont will would contrast okay. on their this type of bracelet or leather thing she is wearing I will consider this thing later and I think I will finalize here part 1 I think I have enough uh, material for a one vi for a video uh, I don't want it to make it I wanted to make it in a size that I can manipulate easily and not too long because when it's too long it's difficult for me to uh, for the edition okay so yeah we are going to play this here The next part we are going to start doing all the uh, shading and highlights. Okay, there is a lot of to do, still a lot to do. I don't know if it will be three parts at the end or two parts, I will see. Maybe in two parts I will be able to do it. We'll apply it here and now the other part that I want, where I want to apply it is in this part here. Uh, to, because I use this to, to simulate Sometimes the leather is traps. Okay, let's do just one last thing. I'm going to apply uh, a wash on the horns. I want to leave this done. So I'm going to apply seraphine sepia on these horns and as well on the uh, school. This is school here. Okay, I will apply on some feathers as well and here I will not be too concerned it's just to create a wash now then later on we, we may need to clean okay, and on the end I'm quite happy how the feathers look like you cannot even go I will go on top of this feather as I, as I touch it by mistake Okay, I will apply it there. We're going to paint the corn, the horns later on, more detail. But I like to give this first shading as a base. Where to start working? Okay. That. That. Can apply it as well on this type of. Fangs. I think this is the reason that is a fang from the creature that she has there. Check in if I want to do other parts. I think I will do as well this fang here and this type of 
bone. And these ladies have a lot of uh, small details. Okay, I think now we have. I have missed a horn there. And this horn has some. This is the problem you have. You use and when you keep painting you will see more and more details that you want to you need to pay attention later on okay thing like that is okay and I will apply this part here is bothering me I will apply it a little bit there okay and there is a funk as well. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Good. And now we can apply another wash with non oil and we put it on some of the metallics. So I will apply this mainly on these armor plates here to make them look darker, less bright. I don't care too much if I go over the woods and I will apply as well this on this type of spikes just like that as you can see and these things. Now I will wait that all these washes we have applied the vine. You can see I have not done the pistol and neither the claw and this is done in purpose because I want to apply a different um, shading there. Okay, I will apply the it's called the grief home gray or something like that. Okay, I will wait now that this device and I will finalize here part 2, ok? So I hope you have enjoyed part 1 of the painting tutorial of the Death Maiden and part 2 I will come, uh, I will start doing the, the yellows and all the details and you will see how these start having more shape and looking better. So this was just to block the main colors, where I want, how I want it to look like and yeah, so keep tuned if you want to see part 2 let me know what do you think and as usual thanks a lot for watching and see you again later, bye!